What's up, guys? It is Cowboy Rocksteady. It is uh, Tuesday, and I've got some pre-release Tales packs that I want to open with y'all because uh, this is the way, of course. And we're going to have a little fireside chat, um, come to Jesus moment on flesh and blood and cardboard. Um, this will be a little bit of a rant, but uh, I feel like saying it, and this is coming on the back of uh, Legend Story Studios LSS banning uh, Dusk Blade and Seeds of Agony, which is basically just a cheap way of banning Chain. Um, and I've sort of held off from saying a lot, but I um, really kind of want to gather my thoughts before I say anything, and I probably should gather them more. But um, the point, the short answer of this video is um, a lot, of, a lot of consumers in this market uh, have never played with cardboard, and it shows. Let's uh, pop this this first pack open, guys. Uh, if you don't know, there is a rich, rich heritage of CCGs that come before Flesh and Blood and Metazoo. I mean, it, it just it blows my mind that um, this generation doesn't know its history and doesn't um, really know what's going on. Um, you know, uh, recently it was announced that Aura Facts aren't going to be printed any longer in MetaZoo and uh, the Discord's just freaked out over uh, you know they were they had no understanding you know they thought that there was a ban uh, they didn't understand why um, you know uh, obviously that's uh, a move just like you know power nine and magic it was a calculated thing that I think MetaZoo planned all along you know in their game theology was to uh, basically use those elements of Pokemon and magic to sort of generate a money machine. Um, LSS is a money machine. They're a tiny company, but they have to make money to survive. Y'all uh, know what's in this pack here? Y'all remember uh, Battletech? No, you probably don't. Remember Decipher Star Wars CCG? Yeah, you probably don't. You remember my favorite CCG of all time? One that nobody talks about? Um, <laughs> Team Covenant, I haven't even seen play this. Aliens vs. Predator. Fantastic CCG. Fantastic. Remember my second favorite CCG of all time? Deadlands, Doomtown, Texas Rangers. Any Texas Ranger fans out there? Nope, didn't think you did. Why am I showing you all this? Because I love CCGs. I love card games. I've been playing them my whole life. Guys, you don't buy this stuff for the money. You don't buy this stuff to flip uh, a cold foil for $5,000. Like, you either love it or you don't. And if you don't, you're gonna get burnt out and you're gonna get burnt just like a day trader who doesn't know what they're doing. You know, I hear all of the time, why should I give this game a shot? Why should I carry this game? You know, I've talked to my LGS, I've talked to distributors, you know, why, why, why is this one different? Because it's a great game. That's it. Because it's fun. Because the art's beautiful. Because the playmats are top quality. Because the cards are top quality. I enjoy playing, sleeving, collecting, looking at, feeling, opening flesh and blood. That's it. And if you don't, 
you, you shouldn't be playing or buying the product or collecting it. It's just that simple. So, why am I bringing all of this up? You know, before you take to your keyboards and before you go to Reddit and Discord and all of these things, do your homework. Know where all of this has come from. There have been hundreds and hundreds of mass-produced CCGs before this one. And hey, this one might fail too. But at the end of the day, this still is the best functioning CCG system of all time. And a mistake was made to print Pretty cool pull right there. A mistake was made to print a piece of equipment, dust dust blade, that shouldn't have been shouldn't have happened. And it does it make the company look bad? Yes. Does it go against the standard that I hold and everyone else holds of LSS and James White? Yes. And that's why it's so disappointing. But, hopefully, the game will continue and, you know, they'll learn from their mistakes and things will change. And hopefully, at the end of the day, they won't end up like a Deadlands or a Battletech or a World of Warcraft or a Decipher Star Wars or all of the other games that came before them. definitely haven't been crazy packs, although that blink is uh, super spicy. But, you know, just go back in the annuals and study Richard Garfield. You know, I mean, play games, play UFS, play Digimon, play Magic. You know, like, uh, I don't know why there's this disparity and, and well, flesh and blood's now turning into magic and I hate magic and I would never uh, mess with MetaZoo. You know, some of you have never played with cardboard and it shows. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So I think the ban um, is a bad look. But, hey, we'll go from there. I think Chain is essentially going to be unplayable now. And I think that's a product of, you know, the society we live in to where if you complain enough about something, rather than attempt to beat it, rather than practice every day and build new decks to find a solution, you know, the modern culture is just to complain and, and you know, Daddy L LSS will just take care of it. So try harder, guys. Try harder. Do your homework. Open packs. Play with the cards. That's a majestic frost log. And um, that's all I've got for today. But... Cross lock and blink, because this is the way.